The morning is jealous of your relationship with running. The bed whispers, don't leave. What do you see in running anyway? But somewhere in the back of your mind is the thought of the perfect mile, politely telling the bed to shut the hell up. Only New Balance offers you 88 points of total fit, so you can hate the morning less and love running more. Play and racing and uh, coming out quickly on the inside is Corrigan, the taller girl there up towards the front is um, Nikki Bolan and also McKnight going up towards the front. So it's three laps here of the Elite Mile and we can expect the fancy runners to be right up on top of the pack trend. Oh absolutely. Um, we're just coming around the first turn, looks like um, Lisa Corrigan heads in the line here. I'll just move around here. Here we go. So we've got Lisa Corrigan, we've got McKnight. So, and Molan right behind. So really the three favourites are already right there. There, mate. Okay, and they're uh, starting to uh, have a bit of pace on. Lisa Corrigan, the smaller of the two. And uh, Caleb McKnight is the other one in the pink colours going up there. And uh, running third is uh, Nicky Molan. As they go down towards the White House now. How's the speed of the race early, Trev? Well, it seems pretty solid because you'd think Molan would be right on their uh, rear there, but she's already lost probably five metres, and really the race for uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth is uh, really it's two races already, mate. So we've got those two, short gap, and then a gap to the rest. OK, it's Kayla McKnight, the taller of the two runners, up near the front with Lisa Corrigan. Lisa Corrigan is the Australian 1500 metre record holder. And we saw uh, last night Kayla McKnight, she was very impressive in the heat trend. Oh, absolutely. I thought they were, you know, Kayla just looked like she was jogging last night. And Lisa, she was trying to get a bit of confidence back, she said, so she wanted to go out to stamp some authority and uh, run a strong race just to let the other two girls know that, you know, she's back in town and she's keen to win today. And a round of applause, all the other girls coming to the now behind and now they're a very good run for the right night. We have the rest of the two, we have uh, Kimberly Allen at number 27, Emily Jackson at 25, Emily Sellio at 24, Sabrina Borster is number 26, and uh, Lindsay Pekin is number 18. As they swing around there, getting towards the uh, halfway stage of the race, and it's uh, Corrigan, which is closest to us, the slightly the smaller of the two girls with the glasses on, and uh, McKnight on the outside, in matching strides. A round of applause for them as they come down here, really spur them on, and uh, keep them away here. And uh, McKnight and uh, Corrigan, they've dashed right away from them. It's going to be very interesting here. Morland is, uh, is running third here. And uh, then a margin off back to the other girls there. We have uh, Sabrina Forster, number 26, is running up there at about four spot. But uh, at this stage, it's uh, Corrigan. Corrigan and McKnight, McKnight I mean, as expected, they've really uh, cleared out for the rest of them. Absolutely. I thought these two would clear out. Nikki did say she's had a virus, so she's really feeling the effects. She's back in third. Really, she'd be up with these other two girls. Maybe they might have the edge on her over the last half of lap, but she shouldn't be that far behind. But we've got another great race here, mate. So it's going to be another another bottler. So they're coming down for lap to go. So uh, give them a round of applause. And they're really starting to test each other out as the pace really comes on. It's Corrigan in the glasses and McKnight on the outside. They're going absolutely stride for stride. These two world-class runners up here in Leonora. As they go down, uh, Nikki's got one lap to go. She's lying in third spot. She's going to hold that for sure. But as they uh, go down and sprint down that turn, they're going to be very interesting on the corner here. McKnight the outside. She's the taller of the two girls. Corrigan on the inside. They both uh, come around the bend together. Corrigan on the inside is uh, maybe just in front of McKnight. And uh, they both appear pretty strong at this stage. Well, I think McKnight's actually looking pretty strong. I think Corrigan just looks like she's straining a little bit. But no, she's kicked back again. It's going to be absolutely anyone's race here with a half a lap to go. Lisa Corrigan and Kayla McKnight. Kayla McKnight and Lisa Corrigan, they are going stride for stride as they go past the White House. This is the last lap. They've only got a couple of hundred metres left to travel. And Corrigan, Corrigan has got the inside. Yes, it is our Waverly Star and Bone Crusher. Around the corner and Corrigan the inside and McKnight on the outside. The taller of the two girls. 
We'll see how they rail around here. It's Corrigan in front, Corrigan and McKnight. Corrigan's probably about a, a metre in front. She's inclined her lug out off the track a little bit. It's McKnight and Corrigan there, stride for stride. Corrigan and McKnight's coming in her on the outside. It's Corrigan and McKnight. Corrigan, McKnight, there's no room here on the outside. Corrigan and McKnight, they go to the line, lock together. Corrigan, McKnight, McKnight going better, and McKnight got it a brilliant mount. Kayla McKnight has got there from Lisa Corrigan. What a race. They have matched strides for the entire race and absolutely fantastic. Well, I think just that little edge in fitness there that uh, Kayla had, she's had a full cheek. Um, uh, uh, Nikki, a good round of applause there. But we'll just wait for these other girls to come in. Yes, uh, Nikki.